Hello, welcome back for another Blue Elephant Adventures video. Today I am going to make mom's goulash. It's a favorite of mine and it's pretty simple to make. It's one of the things that she uh, showed me. She, uh, she kind of made this recipe from grandma. And grandma passed it to mom and mom passed it to me. It's really simple and I like it. One of the main things I like about this recipe is you only have to use one pot. Only one pot and that's it. So the cleanup afterwards is really nice. So um, to get started, let me go over the ingredients. Uh, you need one pound of ground beef. Now the fat content is uh, an issue. Um, I use 80-20, mom used 80-20 ground hamburger. And there are other fat content ground beefs. There's a, there's a leaner ground beef, which I think has like 7% fat in it. It's pretty lean. And for a one pot meal, or for a one pot, to do it in one pot, you're gonna have to worry about it burning a little bit because it doesn't have the fat in there to keep it from getting black so that's something you can use it you can use the lean ground beef but you're gonna have to constantly stir it and constantly keep an eye on it and that's just I'm, I'm not real big on the health conscious thing so um, I use 80 20 now there is a fatter ground beef and I, I don't know what the percentage is but it it will produce a lot of liquid fat in a pan. Just, it's too much, so I'd have to drain it. Um, now you can do, you can drain the fat um, with any of the ground beefs after you're done browning the ground beef. But uh, for me, the 80-20 works well. I don't even drain it, and it keeps stuff from burning the bottom of the pot. So that's why I keep it in there as well. And it, it, the, there's a lot of flavor in the uh, fat because fat makes things taste good. So that's the ground beef. It's one pound. Moving on to the next item would be tomatoes. Um, I get one of the big cans of tomatoes and I'm pretty sure they're 28 ounce maybe. I'm not quite sure the, the size, but you got the, the small can, like the small soup can of tomatoes and then you've got the big can and I go for the big can it only takes one can and the uh, you've got whole tomatoes diced tomatoes all kinds of tomatoes I use the diced because they're smaller pieces and that's to uh, help with the kids not that I can get them to eat tomatoes but I'm working on it and because uh, once they see the tomatoes I get the little yucky faces it's like instant so but we're still working on that and I think once they get over that they're really gonna like this pot meal so that's the tomatoes then the next ingredient is macaroni and I use the small elbow macaroni mom used the small elbow macaroni you can use any type of pasta you want shells bow ties what whatever you like uh, I've always used the small elbow macaroni, and so that's what I'm using in this meal. So you got those three items, then you've got the spices, which you've got garlic powder, which is probably a, I'd say a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. You can even go two if you really like garlic. I like it, so more the merrier, but you know, you. You, there's a little bit of a zone there. You can kind of pick and choose how much you want. The next item is paprika, and it gives it a nice color and gives it a little bit of flavor. I would say probably a, a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon, is, and I wouldn't go over the half teaspoon because it'll just overpower things. Um, so that's paprika. And then chili powder, um, you can go a quarter teaspoon or you know you can you can lessen that if, if you don't if you don't like it and you don't like the super spice in there so 
but I, I use a quarter teaspoon in this pot meal and that, that works well for me. The next item would be ground cinnamon. Now the ground cinnamon, you have to be very, very careful with it. Just a very tiny, tiny amount, just a pinch of ground cinnamon and it goes a long way, but it does add a really nice flavor to the, to the goulash. So uh, that's why I use it and mom used it. Uh, you've got a tablespoon of sugar and that just help, that just kind of sweetens it up and with the ground cinnamon it just it just combines really well and then salt um, you've got your salt and that's pretty much to taste I'd say at least a tablespoon because you got the pasta however when it comes to salt add what you think is right so that's pretty much that's pretty much all there is to, to the recipe and then just let it cook um, so in basically you just brown the meat in the pot so you brown it wait till it's all brown make sure it's cooked well you don't want to have a you, you don't want to look at it and, and question that so you want to make sure it's 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 a nice brown not not a really light borderline still has a little pink in it it needs to be all brown uh, a nice brown not leaning toward the burnt side but just brown um, and with the fat content of the 8020 I can stir it a little bit put the lid on it leave it for a little while if it's not on a direct um, on a direct coal base or if it's on um, a, a grill stand cooking camp grill stand um, you're okay because the fat content is going to help help it not stick and it's going to help it not burn but I mean you're gonna need to stir it a little bit you're, you know, you're gonna need to brown it after that after you're done browning it put in your water then you put in your tomatoes and you want to heat that up get it warm probably two to three minutes to get it warm and then you want to add your pasta now when you add your pasta in you need to look at the level and make sure that the pasta is completely covered with water on the top once you you know got it settled and then you can kind of say, okay, I need a little bit more water. You can add just a little bit more just to make sure. Um, I'd say at least, a, probably at least a fingertip of water. Maybe, what is that? Half inch, maybe three-fourths of an inch of water covering the top um, of the contents. And that should be enough water for the macaroni to uh, soak up and, and cook. After you've added all that, all the main ingredients, then you want to add your sugar and your salt. And then I let it sit for a little bit, let it get nice and hot, stir it, let the macaroni kind of start to, to, to get soft. Um, and then I add the spices. So that's uh, pretty much it. And you just let it cook and let it boil, bring it up to a boil. And then you can let it sit and slow cook um, stirring it, you got to stir it uh, to make sure it doesn't stick. But it, you know, put it on a cooler side of the fire or on low if you're using your stove. And that's that's it. That that is how you make it. And you can let it sit and slow cook as long as you stir it every once in a while. Uh, you shouldn't get any um, burnt stuff on the bottom of the pot as long as you stir it every once in a while. And that is mom's. That is mom's goulash. It's 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 one pot. Um, like I said earlier, if you're worried about the fat content after you've browned the meat, drain the fat out and then add your water. So, and then you shouldn't have an issue with it. Um, it 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 works well. And you can after you're done, if you make a big pot, you know you can double the ingredient size and make a really big pot and eat it and then store it in the refrigerator uh, and have it for leftovers or take it to lunch for work or whatever but it, it's pretty it's a pretty simple it's a pretty simple meal I'm gonna go over the ingredients one more time so you know um, what's in there and I'm, I'm gonna try to post the ingredients um, either on the description box or Posted directly on the screen 
so you have it. But it's one pound of ground beef, one can of tomatoes, cup, cup and a half of macaroni, elbow macaroni or whatever pasta of your choice, but a cup and a half or a cup. And you can, you know, it, there, there's a little bit of leniency on that. So your spices, you got garlic powder, you've got chili powder, paprika, ground cinnamon, and then you've got salt and sugar. And though that, that is the ingredient list. So it, it, it's, there's not a lot there, a few spices in there. I like it. It's kind of hearty. It's got your ground beef. It's got your macaroni in there, carbohydrates, whatever you want to call it. And the, the broth that's made with the spices and the water and the, and the fat from the beef is awesome. I like it. I love it. So that is mom's goulash. It's a simple, simple recipe. I think it's a good recipe. I think it's a good camping recipe as long as you're close to the car. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at maybe trying to make a backpacking version where we've got dried, um, dehydrated contents so that it'll last longer without the weight. I, I don't want to carry a can in, in, the, in my backpack, but uh, with the boys and their age, we're not, we're not even close to that stage yet. So we're going to be close to the vehicle camping and with close to the vehicle camping, I don't have to worry too much about the weight because I can walk to the car, get what I want and the car is going to take the load. So that's going to be it for this video. That's mom's goulash. It's pretty, it's just a pretty simple, simple recipe. I do like it a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my mom, it's one of mom's my favorites that mom used to make. So I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think of it. And comments are always welcome. And I'm gonna sign off and this is Blue Elf Adventures. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.